CNN is now ready to make a major projection. Very impressive gains in the Senate tonight, historically. The Republicans have taken over Washington. Budget and tax issues. And when it's the Republicans. The Republicans. The Republicans in charge of the House. The Republicans will take control of the House of Representatives. Our message was simple. Our message was simple. We wanted a stronger economy. We wanted better schools. We wanted it to be about jobs. And we wanted government to remember that every dollar was not government's money, it was the taxpayers' dollars. And how we spent it mattered. We are in the midst of a debt crisis, and the American people want to know why we have to balance our budget and they don't. Frankly, this is not a time for celebration. Not when one out of ten of our fellow citizens is out of work, not when we've buried our children under a mountain of debt, and not when our Congress is held in such low esteem. You see, tomorrow morning, there will still be too few jobs for too many people. Thank you. Thank you. I know that the job-killing tax hikes that are coming from Washington are holding us back. Small businesses will know they have an ally in Santa Fe under our Martinez administration. To start by cutting taxes for small businesses so they can get loans, so they can grow. And we need to end policies that ship our good American jobs overseas. I, I, I appreciate a lot of my, uh, my finance chairs here who've helped raise money all over the country. Government does not create jobs. Individual entrepreneurs, businessmen and women create jobs, but not the government. And for all those families who were asking, where are the jobs? It means ending the uncertainty in our economy and helping small businesses get back to work. We're going to grow this economy. We're going to create jobs. We're going to reduce the debt and the deficits. And in the process, we are going to create a more promising future for our kids and our grandkids. That's what we're going to do.